Welcome again guys. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a cinemagraph like this using LumaFusion and Adobe Photoshop Mix on your iPhone. To begin with what I've done is create a project in LumaFusion and I've inserted this piece of video which is incredibly seasonal as it's March um, of a couple of Christmases ago of me tossing an orange in the air in front of a Christmas tree and any of you that have created a cinemagraph before will know that it's crucial that you get the loop point right in your video so that it doesn't jump and I've made it easier for myself on this occasion by using the Christmas tree as the background and why that's helpful is that the Christmas tree lights are quite random, so it's not critical that I get the loop point in exactly the right place. However, the principle is the same. So what you do on LumaFusion is just highlight that um, first piece of video. In this case, it's only two seconds long, so it's not very long at all. And what I want to do is extend it. So I'm going to add various copies of the same piece of video to the end of this one and so if I highlight it click clone it will create a duplicate and what I can do is just add the duplicate into the second video track above the master video track in LumaFusion and then repeat the exercise so I'm just going to do it a few times and that way we will have, have a video I just want to make it about 15 seconds long which means it's about the length that I would wish to share. Clone again. Now just a word about this yellow button here on LumaFusion. Um, what that button does is toggle between two different ways in which clips drop into LumaFusion. Um, as it is, the clip can be dropped anywhere on the timeline and the timeline will be independent of the clip length. But if I untoggle that button so that it's white it will mean that any clips that I drop into the master track will immediately follow on from the previous clip and I don't want that, I just want them to follow on from the clip on either the master track or the track above it. So we'll just um, scroll along here, keep adding them. It doesn't really matter in this clip. If I was using a, a background video in which the loop point was really critical, I'd have to carefully drop it onto the timeline here to make sure that it, it seamlessly links together with the previous one but in this case it's not really important because as I say the Christmas tree is random so let's just add this in here keep adding we're up to oh actually that's probably long enough I really only want it to be around 15 seconds let's just come back to here I might just take that last clip off actually 15 seconds will do the job. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is to create the mask, the part of the cinemagraph which doesn't move and that's the bit of me throwing the orange in the air. So I'm just going to advance this until I find a frame that I'm happy with. I think that one looks pretty good with the orange suspended in midair and the shadow of the orange on my hoodie. Um, I think what we'll do is export that clip and all you have to do in LumaFusion is click on this button here and click snapshot and what it will do is take a screenshot of that frame and save it to your camera roll so if we look at the camera roll here we've got that um, image there and at this point I need to bring in Adobe Photoshop Mix which is that one there so here's uh, some ones I've done earlier, but let's just do it afresh so you can see what I did. Yeah, just a word about the apps. As far as I'm aware, Adobe Photoshop Mix is is free. Um, um, some of its functionality may be locked off for people that don't have an Adobe Photography subscription. Uh, but I believe that what we're showing you, I'm showing you here, is free. And LumaFusion is around about twenty pounds, twenty dollars in the US. 
they're really cost effective apps and a lot cheaper than buying some of the dedicated cinema graph apps so what I'm showing you here it may not have all the bells and whistles of the cinema graph pro for example however it's it's pretty straightforward to do and it's going to cost you a lot less money and there's no ongoing subscription so I think it's pretty useful so what we'll do here is select that photo we've just taken oh it's at the top there we are and all I'm going to do is to cut out the frame of me so that leaving um, a clear background of the Christmas tree. And to begin with, uh, Photoshop Mix is a, is a wonderful little app. It does things um, very intelligently. So if I click Cut Out and click Auto, what it should do is cut most of me out of the background, which it has done really well. And then we just need to edit a bit. So I'm just going to click on this brush icon and just brush out some more of the background. Now I know from experience that it's I cannot toss an orange in the air without moving my body from side to side so I'm actually deliberately going to include a bit of the side here because if I don't what you'll find is that occasionally this ghostly image of my hand in the video behind will appear in this to the side of my body and um, so I think well let's just be quite bold here I'm going to take it to about there um, now for some cinema graphs you're going to have to be much more precise than that and you can zoom in on this app and be a bit more precise in your cutting out I think I'm just going to take a little bit more in this case for the purposes of showing you guys there we go so when you're done click the uh, the tick and what you're seeing there is the the mask which we're going to use on LumaFusion and any bit that's shown as a checkerboard will be transparent when we import it to LumaFusion. So that looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to click the export button, export to camera roll, and in a moment that will appear on my camera roll. So if I now go back to LumaFusion and I import from my camera roll I should find that that file there and there it is it's the first file here I just drag and drop it onto the start of my timeline now I've used the first two tracks of video so I need to put it on the top one there are only three in LumaFusion and that looks pretty good to me can you see when I scroll forward we've got the tree flashing but the fixed image of me I think that looks pretty good so I'm now just going to drag image for the full length of my project. There we go, it's going to take a moment. Oops, you have to watch and make sure you drag the right thing. Just keep doing that till we get to the end. I'm kind of slow here. To speed it up I'm just going to pinch in here shorten my timeline and just drag it to the end there we go let's make sure it coincides with the end of that track it doesn't quite so <laughs> the last thing I want is a piece of video appearing at the end so just to be on the safe side I'm just going to trim both tracks of video here at the end to make sure they both finish at the same point if I do that just scroll out a little bit, delete, delete. Now I know it's going to finish at the same time. So if I look at this whole clip from start to finish, that looks pretty good to me. Now the thing I am noticing is a bit of a ghostly um, fringe around my body and behind the orange and the reason for that is that the JPEG which has been extracted from the video is slightly brighter than the background video and we can fix that and how we do it is just double click on the image file at the top and click on this uh, painter's palette uh, icon to the left click on the original tab and what that does is it opens up a, a grading menu here and we can just change things and all I'm going to do 
it's just changed the brightness and now if I brighten that you can see where the lines are between the the masked image and the background so all I do, just want to do is bring that back until they look to be the same I think that's just about good enough okay and that's us we have created our basic cinemagraph so all I need to do now is click the export button click as a movie and we'll export it to photos and that's us got our cinemagraph now there is just one other thing I would like to do and that is to bring this cinemagraph back in and do a bit of grading on the whole image just so that it looks a bit more homogeneous uh, and, and uh, like it's the one file. So I'm just going to go to this icon here and we're going to create a new project and this time we'll call it Cinema we'll call it Cinegraph Master. How about that? Okay, and I will bring in the video I've just created. Is that one? And looks pretty good, but I would just like to give it a little bit of a grading, so we'll just tap on that. And again, we'll tap on the paint palette icon there. I think we're just going to give it a bit more of contrast. I yeah, quite like that. And that should just give us a nice kind of darkened back background. And just to give it even more punch, I'm going to click on this icon here and Vignette 3. And what that's done is just give us a bit more of a lightened subject at the front. I'm thinking actually that maybe needs to be brightened up a little bit, so I'm just going to brighten it a tad. There we go. Okay, I quite like that, so that will do. You can spend a lot more time on these things. You can use LUTs and so on to get a, uh, a look that you're really happy with. But let's just review our project now. So if I click play, that looks pretty good to me. So, the only other thing I'm going to do is to make it a bit longer because it's only 15 seconds and if I want to put it on Instagram it's probably good to make it a minute. So I'm just going to highlight that file, click on the toolbox, click clone, clone, clone. And now I should have a minute long video. Let's just have a look. 59 seconds, that'll do the job. And then I export it here. and in a jiffy we have a full cinemagraph. So I hope that helps guys, I hope that is something that you can make use of and uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, um, obviously if you don't give it a thumbs down that's fair enough and if you've liked what you see and you'd like to see more videos about my photography journey then do please subscribe and click the bell icon and when I release new videos you will be notified. Thanks ever so much for watching, I do appreciate it, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.